Hello, Quinn. So I put some eyeliner on. I meant to put on mascara and then I noticed what time it was, but I just wanted to put a little bit of makeup on to kind of balance out all the stuff I'd be doing on the lips. So, um, everybody, my Auntie Maria is watching right now. I think this is the first time she's watched a live, live and not a replay. So she's here with us today and it makes me so happy and excited. So today I'm going to be talking about Rose Gold Vegan Lip Tints. Can't get it to focus, and even if I could, it would be backwards anyway. But this is in the Deluxe Spring Box. And, um... Yeah, it, this was a very pleasant surprise for me. Uh, I was telling... Adeline that of everything in the box I was the least excited about this until I tried it on and it kind of blew me away it was very exciting for me she I have a new term now she peated me um, when I was testing for peat I was just like eh, peat whatever it's not an ingredient that I'm excited about and then I tried it and all the stuff started purging from my milia and I was blown away and completely mind blown and it's now one of my favorite products. So, um, Adeline, you totally peated me with this rose gold lip tint. <laughs> yes, you peated me. Okay, so what I'm going to show you today, because you're probably all wondering how long could a video possibly be about one little lip balm slash lip tint. Well, I'm going to show you the different ways that you can use this and maximize your usage out of this one little crayon sized lip balm and uh, first I'm going to just put it on and I saw in Kristen's video that she did the uh, unicorn scrub on her lips first which is an excellent idea of course I intended to do that but then I ran out of time so um, this is just me putting it straight on my really dry chapped lips you can probably see the cracks in my lips right now and I'm just going to swipe it on. While I talk about the benefits. I really wish this would autofocus, but um, I have some blemishes that I'm trying not to put makeup on right now because I'm treating them uh, with the stuff in the spring box. I'm just doing a lot of purging. So my skin in the springtime is usually really congested, and so it, it's working out all of its problems <laughs> right now. Um, a lot of things are coming to surface, and um, a lot of things are um, not where I want them to be and very visible. As you can see, this is some scarring from some acne I've had for a couple weeks. They've been, it's been gone, but it's taking a while for the scars to heal up. So I've been using snail and... Um, SBO and Dorian Gray on it um, but then new stuff just keeps popping up that's just what comes with spring plus you know around the time of the month it's just everything is hormonal so this is what it looks like with nothing else it's so pretty right okay I'm gonna describe the color one more time for the people who might not have seen my unboxing video and I'm going to put all my cosmetic knowledge and terminology into this. So ask questions if I'm going, um, if I'm using stuff, using words that you um, don't really hear often and don't know what they mean. Okay, so this is a mauve rose pink and it's got a gold shimmer shift, which means in some light, you see the gold shimmer and in some light you don't see the gold shimmer so that's why it's a shift because depending on how the light hits you you see it or you don't um, the gold in here um, is very shimmery it's not glittery so when we think shimmer versus glitter glitter is chunky and shimmer is a very fine iridescence almost pearlescent like kind of frosty um, and my aunt is asking what's peated. Okay, so there was a product out called Peat Serum, 
which I don't have right in front of me. Um, but I wasn't excited to test it, and when I finally got it, um, it blew me away. So when I say, now I say <laughs> that uh, when Adeline creates something that I'm not excited about and then it completely blows me away, I say that she peated me. So that's, that's what that means. Um, so, okay, so it's like a mauve rose pink. So it's a warm pink. There's not as much blue. There's more yellow undertones to it. And then the gold shimmer in it, the gold shift in it, um, is iridescent, a pearlescence, frosty. Those could all be interchangeable. So pearlescent, frosty, iridescent. And that is the natural finish. It is very moisturizing. The ingredients, I'm going to read all of the ingredients. You ready? Coconut oil, calendula wax. Sweet almond oil, avocado oil, argan oil, flavoring, and mica. That's it. That's it. It's like the ingredients list is this small. And it's all natural stuff. So um, the sweet almond oil, the avocado oil, the argan oil, you know, is very, very moisturizing. And um, it, the um, argan oil is... Um, very good for absorption of your skin because um, it absorbs very quickly into your skin whereas the calendula wax is what keeps it sitting on top of your skin so that it doesn't all absorb and it's practically gone you know in a few minutes or a few hours this is what keep that's what keeps it sitting on top of your lips the avocado oil of course is very nourishing there's antioxidants um, lots of fatty acids uh, just so much good stuff for your skin on here. And um, now I'm going to show you different ways you can wear it. So, this is a very pretty blush. Depending on your complexion, I'm just going to show you. I'm about like a, a medium complexion with golden undertones. So, I'm just going to show you right here. Just do a couple swipes so I just did like a couple swipes and I'm just gonna blend it with my finger and it gives you like this nice natural rosy tint to your cheeks and this is nice especially if you don't like to wear blush I love blush but blush is a commitment so if you don't like to wear blush I think you will like this and because of the gold, I'm going to pinch my cheeks a little bit. I love pinching my cheeks. And because of the gold um, shimmer that's in it, you get a, a highlight with it as well. So I'm going to put some here. And just, I'm going to turn my light away for a minute so that you can see this is what I would look like if I were standing in front of you. See, it's like just a really nice natural um, tint to your cheeks, like rosy cheeks. And you wanna put that, when you smile, you wanna put them right on the apples of your cheeks and blend back up towards your temple. See, it's like, it's really pretty, right? Okay, I'm going to turn my light back around. So, now that we have that taken care of, Adeline says you look like after you put on Lotus Ceramist. <laughs> I am very glowy. I'm very excited. I love glowing. I like the dewy look. I like skin to look like skin. Um, a lot of times, um, People will come in um, when I did makeup and ask, uh, I want matte skin. Just give me matte, 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 matte skin. Like, and I'm just thinking, do you want to look dry? You know, um, it's okay to be matte in some places, but you don't want to be completely matte all over your face. You want your skin to look like skin. You don't want to look like you've got a bunch of powder caked on your face or that you have absolutely no moisture at all because dewy skin is plump and supple skin and it looks healthy and you look hydrated 
So I really, really love that. Now we're going to have some fun and play with some color combinations. So last time I used this Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics uh, pencil. And um, they are vegan and cruelty free, 100%. And this color is called Sebastian. It's a taupe. It is a true taupe brown. You know what? I'm going to need this. Let's go around. See, and then it adds a little bit of dimension. So with this, now you have a three-dimensional look because you outlined it in dark and the pink is the, the middle color and then the gold is the highlight. So now you have three dimensions of color on your lips and it, they're more defined. And that is if you want to use a brown neutral color. And everybody is different. Everybody has a different brown for them, so. Um, thank you, my aunt says I'm so creative. Thank you so much. Um, now, um, if you wanna go a little um, bolder, you can put something underneath it. And I cannot believe that I forgot to bring a towel. Let me see if I have some wipes somewhere down in here. My whole like vanity area and bedroom is still a um, big old mess from all the furniture that we've been moving around and I've been trying to stay organized, but um, it's kind of hard these days. Okay, so I'm gonna take this off. And if you want a nice bold color, we're gonna do that next. How many of you like red lipstick? Let me see hearts if you love red, but you're too scared of it. Hearts if you love red, hearts if you've always wanted to try red but are too scared of it. Kristen does. All right, I got some hearts. Um, this is Urban Decay, also cruelty free. This is this was from their. Um, their uh, Pulp Fiction collection, so these might be discontinued, but this is a good general true red that you could probably find from any brand. And that's why I chose this duo, is because I didn't want to advertise one brand over the other. This is probably discontinued, but you can find a true red from another brand. And let me go on and grab my mirror. Are you guys scared already? Look how bright that is. So this is a true blue cherry red. And I like to fill in the corners a little bit and give the shape of um, a poutier lip. So if you see, it's a little thicker on the inner corners and you're creating the shape of your lip. This, this lip liner is the shadow. And when you're doing makeup, just remember that dark pushes things back and light pushes things forward. So I'm pushing the corners of my mouth back and the center forward to give it a more poutier look. Okay. And you know what? I'm not even going to put this lipstick on. I'm just going to go straight for the rose gold. Mom, can we go to the bathroom? Someone's not doing their job because my, my daughter just busted in here. Yeah. <laughs> you need to go to the bathroom. Can you hold on for just a minute? Mm -hmm. All right. You want to do some pretty pretties with me? Yeah. Can All I right. sit on your lap? Sure. Come on. <laughs> I'm a beautiful girl. You are a beautiful girl. Okay. Oh, no. She knocked it over. Sorry, guys. 
It's okay, Joaquin. Thank you. She's good. Sorry, I'm back, guys. Yeah. All right. So, I'm going to put this on. So if you're really scared of red, just start off with a red lip liner and put the tint in the center. <laughs> yes, this is Kitty. Say hi to everybody, Kitty. Hi, everybody. Oh. Okay, do you want some pretty pretties too? Yeah. Here. Oh, look at you. You're so beautiful. You're beautiful. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Um, so if you want to go bolder, we can do that, too. So this is what it looks like with just a red lip liner and the rose gold lip tint in the center. It's like a really subdued red. Oh, Auntie Maria says hi. <laughs> What's wrong? You talk so much when the camera's not on you, and now you see that you're on camera and you're barely saying anything. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to put the, the red underneath. That's really red. That is so red. Oh my gosh, I haven't worn red lipstick in so long, you guys. Okay, let me clean it up with a little bit of liner. Okay, so here's your red base, a true glue red and we're gonna pop some of this lip tint on top and I'm just gonna do it in the center do you see that glow right there in the center that's where I put the lip tint so it's giving you that extra bit of dimension and poutiness So this is a good topper, especially if you have a, a color that you really love, but it's so drying on your lips. If you put this rose gold lip tint on top of it, it's going to keep your lips moisturized pretty much all night. Oh, that's really pretty. You like this color, Kitty? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You're so shy right now. You're so shy. Okay, now for all my, um, my dark girls. I don't mean dark in color, I mean like dark as in goth or emo. <laughs> I got um, a really dark red, if you like those really deep wine colors. I love dark colors. Okay. I love dark colors, huh? You put some pretty paint in my eyes. Oh, I'm so sorry. Where? Right there. Right there. You want me to kiss it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Can I'm you, sorry. Can you clean it off? I will. Can it wait until after I'm done with the video? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, this is called Red Noir. This is from Besame Cosmetics. And this is actually a really interesting brand. Um, they replicate vintage makeup like to a T. Like this color was an actual real color in like 1930 or something. And then they make like the cake mascaras where it's just like a block of black and you wet it and then you put your brush on it and then put your mascara on. Um, so I thought that was really neat. I have um, a collection of this stuff just mostly for the packaging and because it's so um, it's so neat. You don't see anything like that. Okay, I'm gonna need my mirror again. Look at that. Adeline said you're so sweet, Kitty. Are you a sweet girl? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, Amy asks, how do I like Besame? I keep thinking of getting that brand but haven't taken the plunge yet. Honestly, I 
don't like it. It might be okay for personal use um, if you never get your face wet because the mascara, the cake mascara runs so easily. It was running while I was putting it on and I didn't even use that much water. So, um, But if you like, I can PM you later and I can go more into detail about that. Okay, so this is a really dark color. This is my jam, you guys. Like, these are my favorite colors of lipsticks. Did I just get, yes, I just got lipstick all over my face. Okay, let's clean it up. Isn't that a pretty color? I love this color so much. And I'm going to use that first lip liner that I used, the dark taupe, to go around. so good right now. Thank you. Alright, so there's the color. That's my lip liner and my lipstick. Now I'm going to pop some of the rose gold lip tint on top. Ooh. Oh, that's so pretty. Do you see it, you guys? Oh, that's so pretty. Like, the camera doesn't even do it justice right now. It, It is amazing. It's so pretty. Look at, okay, I think this is the best I can do. Do you see that? It just added so much um, dimension. It wasn't, it's not flat anymore. I'm going to go on and put it all over. I love this color. Wow. Make sure I don't have any lipstick on my teeth. You like that color, kitty? Mm -hmm. I like the color on your lips. So pretty. Can you name all the beautiful people? Mm -hmm. Who are all the beautiful people you know? Oh, she's pointing to you guys! <laughs> You're so sweet. <laughs> Alright. So, yeah, it's Old Hollywood Glam, which I love. That is my favorite aesthetic, by the way, in terms of makeup. Old Hollywood Glam. Like, makeup between the 20s and the 50s are my favorite style of makeup. You like dark too? Yeah, me too. So yeah, there it is guys. I just showed you a bunch of different ways how to use this rose gold lip tint. And my lips are not like dying right now. They are so moisturized. They're so soft. And they're so pretty. Pretty. Can you say hi to everybody? Oh, can't wait for Kitty and Mom's YouTube channel. You know what? She sits in front of my vanity and she plays with all my stuff. And she says, today I'm going to show you how to do a pretty pretty. Here's how you do a pretty pretty. <laughs> and she grabs all my stuff and pretends to put it on. And, and then I turn the camera on and she completely freezes. So I think she's got a little bit of camera fright. Are you camera shy, baby? Yeah. Because this is not like her at all. She's so rambunctious. She is all over the place. Oh my gosh. She's not like my other children at all. Sometimes I just like lose my shit <laughs> because of her. <laughs> but she is such a good little girl, huh? She's such a good girl. I wish I was like her when I was her age. She's very outspoken. She's very assertive. She's got so much confidence. She looks in the mirror and 
tells herself that she's beautiful every day, and I love that so much. Huh, baby? Are you beautiful? Yeah? <laughs> Alright guys, this is all I got for you. So if you have any more questions, I'm going to just scroll up a minute to make sure I didn't miss anything. After the live, would you notate the colors and brands of the things like the liners and lip colors that you're using for this so that we can relocate the, oh, recreate the look? Yes, Amy, I will do that for you. And... Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching and being patient while my camera fell and I had to fix everything. Um, if you guys want to see any more um, lip combinations, and you don't have to do specific brands, you could just do like, can you do a pink with a brown or this or that, or can I see it on your eyelids, or you know, just something, anything, any request you guys have, just ask and I'll do it and I'll post a selfie on the uh, page. And thank you guys for coming so much. Thank you, and to Maria for joining us today. Thank you, Amy. Thank you, Adeline and Felicity. And who else? It Quinn and Jana and who else? I'm sorry if I missed you. I'm trying to go back. And Kay and Kristen, Chitra. Am I saying your name right? If you're still on here, Chitra, can you um, correct me if I'm not saying your name right? And I think I got everyone. Don, Quinn. And I think that's everybody. Mm. All right, guys. Have a good night. Say bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Cool.